older man, and Tony Jacobs realizes his need to tolerate the attitude of his younger girlfriend. However, recently Tony spots a few red flags in his paramour's actions. His need for the truth gives Tony the impetus to strike first. Unnerved by the possibility of a secret affair, Tony petitions cheaters for professional help. I'm Clark Gable, and this is Cheaters. At the beginning, we was always together. We always did everything together, you know. Uh, as soon as she wakes up, she calls me. As soon as I wake up, I call her. And we built a, we built a bond between us. But lately, it's like it's getting more and more separate between us. It's always a distance between us. Um, I feel like I'm always chasing her down. And I feel like there's something, there's something going on. Well, recently, her father became ill. And uh, she uses that as an excuse to always be at home. And at the beginning, I, I would be there with her. We always spend time. We'd go by her house and check on her father, and we always spend time together. But now she's, it seems like she don't even want me by the house. I offer to come by, hang out with her there, and she don't even want me to come by. She always has the excuse that she just wants to be alone with her dad, and that's, that's not like her. Brianna, age 23, a nursing home assistant suspected of neglecting her older boyfriend in favor of a younger man. Briefed by Tony on the limited details of the case, Cheater stakes out the suspect's parents' residence. Sometime after dark, an unknown vehicle arrives. The driver greets Brianna at the front door. The pair drive away, unknowingly tailed by Cheater's investigators. Followed to a nearby restaurant, the suspect and her dinner date grab a table inside. When we first met, I knew she was younger than me, and I knew that that would probably be a problem somewhere down the line, and now lately, She's been acting uh, real immature. She never been acting. I, the one of the things that I liked about her was that she was mature for her age. And now lately she's been acting real immature. She want to always start an argument, always got to hurry up and get up and leave. It seems like I can't keep her attention. Recently, uh, she left her phone and, she, and her phone goes off, so I picked it up and I went through it. I was being suspicious and I went through it. And uh, I seen some pictures that she sent to someone and I asked her about it. She became real combative about it. So what she does is she grabs her phone, she runs out the house, and ever since then, she's been keeping her phone on her side, and every time it rings, she gotta leave the room and go talk about it and stuff like that. So I could feel in my heart that something is wrong there, yeah. you know. Brianna and her chum enjoy their meal. However, the companion wants a bit more than food. The man leans in to give the suspect a few nibbles on her neck. Finally, the suspect and her consort leave the restaurant and return back to Brianna's parents' house, where the man drops the suspect off. As the male leaves, cheater's operatives know that they need more information. If I find out that Brianna's cheating on me right now, it's going to be a wrap. There's nothing else I can say. I, I've been there for her. I supported her. I give her money all the time. You know, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, and if she's cheating on me, It'll be the ultimate slap in the face, and there's nothing else I could say, and she's gonna hear it. Peters continues to watch the suspect's parents' home. The mail from previous surveillance arrives to pick up Brianna. The man holds the door open as the suspect climbs inside his car. Brianna gets whisked away to a neighborhood park. At the swing set, the man, now identified only as Enrique, kisses Brianna passionately. The pair spend some quality time at the park. Eventually, Brianna and her swing date leave the park. Enrique returns her to her parents' home. Brianna invites her date to spend the night, and Enrique accepts. The very next day, Cheater's operatives note that Enrique's vehicle has not moved. After a lack of movement for most of the day, the illicit pair finally emerge. Cheaters follows Brianna and Enrique across town to a cinema. With his arm protectively slung across Brianna's shoulders, Enrique escorts her into the cinema. A couple of hours later, the two emerge from the theater. Obviously enjoying each other's company, the suspect and her date get into the vehicle. The pair return to Brianna's parents' home. The suspect thanks Enrique with a goodnight kiss. As the two end the night, Cheaters begins collating the information for a deceived and disheartened Tony. Coming up, the confrontation. Having collected all evidence of the covert activities of the suspect, Cheaters requests a meeting with Tony. 
Demoralized by the prospects of the bad news, Tony nevertheless decides the truth needs to be known. First thing I'd like to say, Tony, is thank you for coming out this evening. I understand there's a lot on your plate right now, so we'll just get right to it. Tony, we begin our investigation outside of her residence. Sometime later, this unknown male pulls up, gets out of his vehicle, and she jumps on him with a hug. I know it's hard to see who he is, but they get into his vehicle and they leave the house. As we follow the two of them, they arrive at a restaurant. That's when we see them both inside together, grabbing some food. They share dinner together. We see her pick up her phone as he kisses on her neck. Mm. After finishing up, they walk out of the restaurant together and they leave. As our detectives follow the two of them, he returns her to her residence, he drops her off, and he leaves. From what I understand, she lives at home for a reason. What is that reason? Uh, her dad is sick. She says she's always over there to take care of him. You know, she stopped me from going over there. So when you see this this complete stranger pulling up, picking her up like this, what 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 comes to your mind? I, I'm wondering how he getting over there. I'm not even allowed over there. So you know. Okay, Tony, we continue our investigation outside of Brianna's parents' residence. We see that white vehicle pull up. He gets out and he goes inside. A few moments later, the two of them emerge. He opens up the car door for her. He gets in the passenger side and they leave. All right, well, they arrive at a playground, park the vehicle, go over by the swing set, begin to kiss, hug, and get very close. And during this time, Tony, she receives a phone call, which you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation. Tell me if you can remember this at all. Right. Hello? Hey, what's up with you, babe? Chillin', chillin'. What's good? And, uh, and I got school a little early. I'm there, but I'll come by again. Yeah. Well, I'm not even at home right now. All right, where you at? I'll come get you. No, I'm with my homegirls right now. I haven't seen her in, like, three months. Well, damn, we ain't been spending no time together. I feel like I ain't seen you in about three months. Yeah, but she just came back from Houston, and I haven't seen her. What it is, what it is, then. I guess you have a good time with your friends, you know? Whatever. All right, whatever, then. I'm glad you. All right, bye. After finishing up the phone call with you, I mean, he was standing right next to her. So that conversation was heard by him. After that, they walk away from the playground and they leave. As our detectives follow them, they return to her parents' home. The lights go off in the vehicle and he stays the night. Stays the night right there. Yes, he stays the night. Sick dad in the bed and everything. Stays the night, no respect. Tony, you know what you've seen. You understand what has to happen. Why don't we go ahead and get on the road and we'll get some intel from our detective. I know they're at a house. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Right this way. This is our, this is our address right here. Right, I think it's this one. Right there. Yeah, that is. Why don't we get the crew out really quietly, stand by the garage, I'll ring the doorbell to see what's going on. Once he answers, we'll all go in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's see who answers the door. All right, y'all stay on this side. Stay on this side, stay on, the, stay on this side. Hey man, I got a quick question for you. What's that? I'm looking for a certain address. I was just curious if you, uh... Hey, Brianna here, man? Um, what do y'all do? Brianna here, Y'all good? Y'all right, man? What's up? What's I knew you was... I knew you was cheating. What the cheating. You didn't think I was gonna show up here. You didn't think I was gonna show up here, right? You didn't think I was gonna show up. What's up? What's up? Huh? Huh? What's up? Jesus. I knew you was cheating. Ah. I knew you was cheating. What is this? Huh? You guys playing What's up? video games together? What's up, man? What you, what you got, man? What What's up? Coming up, the conclusion. I know they're at a house. 
Hey, man, I got a quick question for you. Hey, Brianna here, man. I knew you was... I knew you was cheating. You didn't think I was going to... So, what's up? What's up? What's up? You just barged up in somebody else's house. I'm pretty sure... Come get him, money. Come get him. Come get him. Get him. I mean, where they do that? What you want to do? Oh, what they do that? Piss right and you bust your mother. You mean what? Bitch, I will bust you know your mother head. You mean what? Bitch, huh? Bitch, don't huh? do me. Don't do me. Don't do me. Don't do me. I ain't gonna do that, don't bitch. Do huh? Don't do y'all fight it out. Both y'all. What's you want to cheat on me? Can I, me? Can I talk to you outside for a second? What's up with it, homie? Man, yes. I ain't worried about you. Yeah. Let me talk to you outside really quick. So how exactly did all this, how exactly did you guys meet? What's your name? My name's Enrique. Who in bloody f gets a f hammer crew to come over to somebody house? been with her with three, for three years. I know how it goes. So you're worried all the time. So People what exactly? are insecure. He's insecure. So do you remember Whoa. this day, going to the movies together? And this day, picking her up, taking I her out do, to eat. I do remember all that, but I. when were y'all watching me? From, like, what day? When he hired us, because she couldn't tell him the truth. That's the only reason why we're here. Tell I mean, did she, she tell you, did she tell you, Enrique, that... Tell him the truth that, about what? Tell, him, tell, I did you, not tell you the truth about what? About you living bitch, with your father. Bitch, I knew you were no good, bitch. I knew you were no good, bitch. I told you you were no good. Tell you the truth about what? Your game ain't doing What you want to do, man? What you want to do? Don't worry about it. Get no. off. What the f***? 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 What's up with it, homie? No. What the f***? Enrique. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. What the f*** are you doing? Brianna. Please tell me what the f*** The only doing. reason why we're here. What are you doing? Why are you fighting this Get off. What? Why are you fighting this You, you want that? Why are you fighting this for just what, though? They trying to beat for your what? ass. Trying to beat my... Bitch. That just got spurred in the Face. No you think coming. I'm worried about this? Face, you man. think I'm worried about this? Hey, I got a question you for you. Do you think I'm worried about this? tell you she was living with the father? Don't get an attitude with me. Don't get an attitude with me because you're mad. Why are your eyes so glazed, man? Are you are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You're, good. you're all right? Yeah. You look, good. A little, you look a little foggy, man. What's I'm going on? Cool. You you're cool? Thought, my I'm dude. Cool. So, you're sitting up here talking about you're good. And then the what the? So he is your. Did you just say fighting your? So this is your dude? Yes, this is my boyfriend, but not no That's more, though. That's your boyfriend? But not no more, though, because I'm, I'm not f***ing happy, though. Bitch, you should have told me that. I'm not f***ing happy, though. I'm not f***ing happy, though. I'm not f***ing happy, though. I ain't f***ing happy, though. You mad? Yeah, I'm mad, bitch. You should have told me that. You mad or not? You should have told me that, bitch. So you mad or not? 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 You mad I'm not, happy. To say. I'm not happy. You ain't happy. She told me that, bitch. Yeah. yeah. What? What? She told me that, bitch. What? More, bitch. You. That you. Question. What about, you. What about your sick father? This is your My boyfriend of three well. years. It's like a real home. My dad is doing well. Get like a that camera. Wait, Shut you. the f up. So, Brianna, you don't have anything to say at all. You have no remorse. No, I don't give a f dude. You don't. <laughs> What do you mean? About your dad being sick or anything? No. The boyfriend that took care of him no, for three years. No, I don't give Pays for everything. I don't care, dude. You don't care? No. Damn, would you care? Oh, you want to grab some? Grab me? Why are you still here? Man, you hung? You! Don't ass bitch with my ass. ass. My boo right here, man. What Keep you want to do? Keep the hoe. Good face. The f***ing mean, bitch. Give me the face. You would have f***ed up in the house with a camera crew. Is this a family home? Yo, I, why the f*** are y'all following me? Are y'all really following me right now? Man, your broke ass bitch. Bitch, bitch, come get some. Come get some. Broke come ass get bitch some. Come with get a some. broke ass. Some. Come get some. Real talk. Come get some. Broke ass bitch with a broke ass. Real talk. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. What you want to do, bitch? Is this a family home? This I mean, is my crib. This is your house? Yes. I'm not here to upset you. I'm just here to ask you how that girl ended up meeting you two months ago. I mean, was it just something that you didn't think was going to get that get that serious, or did she more aggress than you? Duh. I didn't think it was going to get this serious. What you and that broke ass. Real talk. What you want to do? You and that broke ass. Jump, bitch. Oh. You 
That's what you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to leave that bitch right where she at. All right, well, let's go. Load up. Adios, mother... I don't want to be with you, I don't want to be with That's you, bitch. Tough. I don't want to be You stay here with the... You couldn't even make me you have stay a... You stay with the... Dog. Go back in the house, bitch. Let's go inside. <laughs> Load up. Get your ass in the house. Hey. 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 Spending time together. Not really, a, you know, an argument over it, but it has been mentioned, and, and he's aware that I feel like this. Um, of course, you know, he says that it's not true, but I don't see much of him, so I know. Couldn't reach him for a whole weekend recently, and um, apparently he said he told me that he had some stuff planned and that he wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't gonna be able to reach him for the weekend, but I think I would remember something like that. I would like to know what type of person Trey is. Um, I would like to know what his commitment is to me. Um, and I would like to know going forward, you know, what I can expect from him, if anything. I don't wanna be in a situation where I'm not with someone that is, is, is gonna cheat on me or I, you know, I definitely... Our detective followed him until he arrived at another apartment complex. Once there, we observed a young lady. She came down. They greet one another with a friendly hug. From there, they go to a movie theater, go inside, take in a show. Our detective continued pursuit. They get back in his car after they leave, make a quick stop at a convenience store, go back to her apartment complex. They get out, there's another embrace before they go their separate ways. As this day of investigation begins, we again observed Trey as he left. Evidently, they made some contact and were in the same vicinity because he stopped at a parking lot. This young lady met him there. From there, they go back to his place. They start to go inside. He doubles back, grabs his towel. And we obviously see why he wanted his towel, because they're frolicking around the poolside. But after those activities subside, they go back inside his apartment, spend an extended amount of time indoors before they exit. Now it's the evening. He brings her back to her car, which was still in the parking lot. And now we see that they share a few moments together before they each go their separate ways. The best thing for us to do now is just wait in the van. As soon as anything happens, go missile calls, okay? Yeah. He came home, got in his car, went to her place. All right. So he went to her place in his car, and then they took her car, and they're driving right now. All right. Let's start heading west on 30, because that's the direction they're going. Okay. We're moving right now. Keep me posted. Let's go, Miss, again. Yeah. So they're at a park, and now they're walking towards a bridge. Okay, what we're gonna need to do is split up. All right, we're on our way. 
All right, there we go. There's Gomez. Let's go. Watch your step. They're up there. Okay, just remember the questions that you want to ask him. Yeah, I think they see us now. Oh, he's, oh, oh. He's starting to make a break for it. Oh, he's with a fat girl. Trey? What's up, man? I'm How's Joey Drake working? with Cheaters. And this is your girlfriend. Can you explain what's been going on? Because we've had detectives following you. No, no, just, we've just had... hanging out, walking the dog, you see. We saw you take her to your house and go swimming in the pool. And there's nothing wrong with any of that. Except Ask that... Ask him. Who is she? She thought that you were Hello? not a duplicitous man. Who is she? That's my, that's my girl. Yo, girl? Yeah. That's my, that's my friend. You told me I had no girlfriend. What the What is this? How did you two meet? I mean, we met at the mall. Just chilling. No way. Okay, okay, watch out, watch out for the dog. Watch out. I we don't want to be bit. Working? I got out. I mean, I just got out. It ain't even, it ain't, it ain't even like this. But you're walking a dog with her and... Trey, that's some real... I'm at home waiting. For real. Did you help us with some information? No, I, I understand that, that we're with a television production called Cheaters. Mm -hmm. We that were hired girl? by this young lady because mm -hmm. she's been dating this gentleman. And they've been oh together gosh. for quite a few months. I see what the problem is. It ain't even like that. It is. You. I saw you. You saw me what? I saw the video. Coming up next, the conclusion. They're at a park, and now they're walking towards a bridge. Trey? I thought you were working. You saw me what? I saw the video. And, and, I don't want any part of this. And, and I understand that, but unfortunately, he he wasn't showing up. He was unavailable to her. She's got a child. Mm -hmm. She's trying to take care of her mother. And she just wanted the truth from him. So she hired us to find out what that was. Going to the mall, going to the movies, at the convenience store. I saw you. I saw you. Okay. It's okay. I mean, it's okay. What, what's what, what, what's what's the deal? It ain't nothing. Yeah, really. What's the deal, Trey? Look, I'm, like, I mean, how come you didn't tell me about this? Like I said, we. All you could have said friends, was that we, we had a girlfriend. We friends. Obviously, I mean, it's it. more. We friends. I mean, that's it. I'm sorry. We we. I mean, it's got to be more. I mean, you could have told me, hey, I'm I had a girlfriend, man, just friends, Trey. Me. Like, bro. Oh, but you weren't saying that when I was at your house, though. I'm like, why you why you got to do this? I'm not even. I mean, seriously though. Like that. We just cool. For real. Like, not we cool, and you bring up all this. This ain't me. This. It has to. Dealing with you. And you had to call him and see talk to me. But well, Trey, you had to go and do it worse instead of talking to me. But Trey, she tried to talk to you, didn't she? Oh my God. You know what, Trey? Take my number out your phone and don't you ever call me ever again. You hear me? You good. You good then, right? You came with her, didn't you? Get these cameras out my face. Seriously. Can we talk without all this? Didn't you come with her? I, I came up here. It ain't no with her. That's you came awesome. with her. You came with her. This some real stuff, Trey. Why don't you just stop talking to me? You already said what you had to say. We this some real That's all right. I mean, charge it to the game. This up. We was just friends. You already knew that. I ain't lie to you about nothing. Okay, so you I ain't got to explain talking, myself. You stop talking. Can you stop it? Can you stop it? Can you, please. Because I'm basically... Well, you well, came, you came, well, just your ride is leaving. Your ride is yeah, leaving. Yeah, he gonna have to walk home now. And he's saying you hiring, you paying out all this to catch me and some shit ain't even real? Oh, it looks pretty real to me. What's not real about it? It ain't real, that's just a friend, it ain't even like that. I, I see me, I just- You lie, then why lie, then why lie, why lie? If I pull something out, y'all gonna be running in, move, get out of my way. Nicole, your ride is leaving. This in front of all these people. You know, you already don't get down like that at all. All these people saw you with her. All these people all saw, saw me with who? All of, what, why you keep walking like you don't even give a about about nothing? You call all these people and then you tell me like I'm wrong. I'm not walking a dog. So whole, with, so I'm whole, not walking so a dog with a friend. The whole time we've been dealing with each other from the start to the finish. From the start to now, you've been straight up with me, right? 
straight up. And I'll be straight up with you too. No. Except for today. Huh. Well, how can I believe that? <laughs> Look at today. You supposed to be working. How the hell I'm gonna leave with somebody else and we gonna go all these? We're done here. How we done? We're done here. How we done? We're done here. That's it. You gonna show up with all this? I mean, what was yeah. that? Say we done? Because I didn't want to be lied to again. I wanted to see for myself. I'm not trying to lie to you about nothing. Nothing at all. You? What, what do you want? Damn, can you get out the way, man? Damn. What do you. Do these people ever give you any time alone? I mean, you need where to, you can just talk you to need somebody? You need to get out. What, what you want me to do, Nicole? I'm trying to tell you the truth. You don't have to tell me the truth. The truth is. I already saw the truth. I already saw the That's truth. That's not the truth. That's not the truth at all. You don't even live over here. Oh my gosh. I just got off. You gonna insult my intelligence? You don't even live over here. Okay, you just got off. Why you not at home? Better question, why you not at my house? It's a wrap. Nicole. We don't have to sit here and do this and play this game and do no 20 game. questions. I mean, what do you, what do you want me to we don't do? have to do any of that. What you, what you want me to say? Okay. I don't want you to say anything. Okay, you went through all this and you and you caught me in a situation where I... And you don't have to say anything. Explain what? There is nothing to explain. It ain't already been explained. They have can video. Just, can you just take me to my truck so we can go home? Take him to his we'll, truck. We'll have someone give you a ride. One of the detectives will go take you Go ahead. I don't have no problem with that. I'm trying to ride with her. I need to spend some time You don't need to ride. ride. You don't need to I'm ride with me. Are you okay with him riding? I don't have no problem with Trey. Trey just can't be Trey not for me. Look, I'm just going to tell you the truth. The truth is, you all I have here, and you have been since we met. And I just don't want to go through the fact that if something happens, then I'm left high and dry. So, yes, I try to have friends and shit like that. Okay, this shit got a little bit out of hand, and it shouldn't have got carried like that. But that don't change the way I feel about you. And that don't change the fact that if I see what's happened now, and I see the way... I wish I could say I see the way you hurting, but I know you hurting inside. You're just playing hard. But if I see what it does to you, then why would I ever do that again? I care about you, I love you, and I want to be with you. But I just don't, I didn't want you to be the only thing I had here. And I didn't have to be. You should just say it there. Coming up next, Cheaters revisits a previous case from its archives. Like I say, the boy, like he retarded. He's still asking me why. And the only thing I can say is because I told you I needed to be happy. Guys, this day, 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 ดีเอ้ยไปเด้อเอ้อตัวเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเลยนี่ <coughs> 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 Đúng rồi, 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 Mẹ đéo mà xuống đây xăm à? <cười> cho đi kết người cho đi farm chi mi Em này sao anh Đức ơi? Em này sao anh Đức ơi? Hết thật chắc Ui vãi lồn Mà nè con chim có hơi tái đâu sợ Ê kệ nó chạy kìa Mà nè Đéo rồi Đứng ra đây gặp hai thằng đứng mê luôn chứ cay thật Đi mẹ Đang đi bắt người, bị chúng nó bắt lại, đau chết nhở 
Vâng Mà trận này thì mẹ tua Mẹ tua tua ủng hộ mình Mẹ bọn này Tua mình Vâng Anh em ơi 